Hello class, my name is Robert Lopez and I'm your instructor for this physical geology class here at Gadolin College. And today I want to go a little bit over the syllabus and more importantly the Canvas homepage here and our Can Canvas um, modules page is where all the information will be for this course. Uh, remember this course is a lecture lab, four unit course in uh, physical science, physical geology. And uh, the lectures are going to be online. All the lecture material is provided. These are as you know, the textbook reading assignments, exercises you'll be doing online, uh, videos of me talking about geology, where you, you treat those videos as um, like coming to class, right? You, like when you come to class, you sit down, you take notes uh, of what's going on. So basically, it's like when you're watching the videos, make sure you take notes because one of the well, what, what I use to write the exams are basically my videos, right? So the exams you'll see are based on my video lecture series. And each video lecture series will have a series of study questions that go along with it. And then I pick questions from that study guide and put those on the exam, right? So you'll see that it's really important to take notes on the video lectures. Probably rewrite your notes and make sure you have the correct answers when you're looking at the study questions and then you're all set for the exams, right? So uh, here on the home page, I'll put this video here where it says watch my intro video, so that'll be up there. But um, if you need a laptop or if you need uh, any other materials from the college, uh, you can submit a form here, right? So uh, like a hotspot, right? If you have trouble getting Wi-Fi at home. So there are um, resources at the college for you to use there. So that's one there, put it right at the top here. And then uh, the textbook we're using is a free uh, open education textbook here. And all you do is click on this link here and it should take you to the web, web, uh, web book here. And you can either download the book in various different topics here, you know, or formats, uh, or you can just start reading the book online here. Uh, but I would recommend at least uh, downloading uh, maybe a print or digital PDF just so you can have it because this website has had problems in the past where it's not working for a week or so. So um, when you're reading the book online, you, you may lose access to it for a little while. So just have this in the background on your computer somewhere where you can access it. And uh, so just have it in the background, um, but you can also read it online. But just be aware of this website being a little glitchy. All right, so it's a little bit about the, the textbook. And then for, for the lab, since we're doing you know, we're meeting on campus every Friday for lab. Uh, you need a lab manual. And I've written this one up here. It's available at the, at the bookstore. It's like $20, $25, right? So you want to make sure you have that. You don't need it the first week because I will be providing the first week's lab or the lab sheets. But once we get on to the second week and third week and so on, you'll see all the labs will be in there. All right, so it's a little bit about the, the home page there. If you go to the modules or to this to this um, if you go to the left side of the web page you'll see there'll be a syllabus tab here so make sure you read the syllabus i do have a syllabus quiz and um it's, it'll be based basically based on this quiz and some other kind of activities or uh, or technical requirements that i ask you about in the modules and you'll see that in a moment but read through the the syllabus here i'm not going to really go through it in too detail a little bit more about the textbooks here in about the four unit course transferable to UC or, I, or any I get the pattern. Again, this, this hybrid format where the, the labs are in person, but the lectures are online, right? So you can kind of read all through here. Uh, another big part here is that we're, we have weekly due dates. Every week, every Sunday night, there'll be assignments due. And you'll see uh, uh, that the whole course is really presented in this modules tab, which is this tab right here. And you'll see it's all broken down into these folders that are basically every week what we'll be doing, right? So here's a little bit about what, what needs to be done for those. Another important part of this class, since we're telling, you know, Stanford, UC Berkeley, San Jose State, wherever you end up going, uh, where you're going to transfer, we're telling, the, telling them that you're completing a lecture lab physical science course. So that means you need to pass a lab, right? So you need to receive a 70% or better on the labs. So even though you may get 100% on all the exams, uh, if your lab grade is below 70%, you can't get better than a D in this class. You need 
we need to really get that, that lab grade above a, a C or better, right? Then I have some exam uh, activities here. So one thing that you'll see is for quizzes, all campus quizzes and, and, um, uh, and pre-lab quizzes, you'll, you can take those twice and they take the better of the two scores. But for the exams, you only have one attempt, right? That's one, some, one thing to keep in mind. And note that both quizzes and exams are not timed. So don't stress about that. Here are the exams and exam due dates. I have those already published. Uh, a little bit about points breakdown, uh, the need accessibility. Uh, in fact, I, uh, there's another link that I can show you in the modules here. If you need uh, uh, tutoring and all that for this course. How many hours are you going to spend in this class? Well, you should be spending at least three hours a week just watching my lectures, right? Uh, it's just like going to class three hours a week and then three hours for lab. So that's six hours alone. But then for each uh, lecture hour, you should have be doing at least one more hour of study. So that's why I have six hours of lecture, three hours of lab. So anywhere from nine to 10 hours per week is what you should be spending on this class. And then uh, here's some materials that you need for the course. And I have a tentative course schedule here. Uh, note there's a couple of holidays going on over here in November. All right, so again, the important part of the course is the modules tab here, right? So you'll see that I have the whole course pretty much published uh, already. And if we start at week one, you'll see that this week, every learning guide here or every chapter will have a learning guide. For example, for the assignments due on August 28th, I have this learning guide and it's basically like a checklist. You gotta read the chapter, take notes, take the Canvas quiz, watch my video lectures, complete these exercises, uh, end of chapter questions here, and then the lab that you'll be doing on Friday with me. So in any lab, those will be done in person. Uh, you, won't, you will not submit those online. You'll submit a hard copy to me during, at the end of class on Fridays. So we should be able to complete the lab in the three hours that we have for each Friday. Again, for the modules, you'll see that for, for week one, assignments are due August 28th. Basically, we're doing all this, right? So you're going through all that there. And then for, for week two, which is uh, chapter two, assignments are due September 4th. Again, there's a learning guide. And then remember I said that each topic will have a series of video lectures. And here are my videos, they're on YouTube. You can see it's just like me writing on the board. I use a document camera and I, you know, I talk about this. And you want to take notes on this because each video series has these study questions, right? And so the study questions Again, I use these. So again, I use these to write the exams. And you can see these questions, you'll get the answers to these from the video lectures I just showed you. You can go and Google some of these questions. You can, you can find them on the internet, but they're not gonna be the answers that I want in, in, from the video lecture. So um, several of these questions become short answer questions worth five to six points on the exam. And if you look those up on the internet, it's going to be the, it's not the answer that I'm looking for. So you're not going to get the points for it. So make sure to answer these study questions based on the video. I mean, it's, it's the time you're going to put in coming to class. In this case, coming to your computer, watching my video lectures, taking notes, right? This is where, this is where those, you know, that that's going to benefit you by, by being able to get the correct answers to these study questions and then doing well on the exams. All right. So it's a little bit about the modules. And, I, and like I said, I pretty much have the whole course ready to go. It's all published. The exam date, the exams are published. Theoretically, you could work ahead uh, if you wanted to, uh, but obviously, you know, we're, we'll be doing labs every week here, and uh, so you'll have to come back and, and make sure you're, you're, you're on par, or on pace for what we're doing uh, for that particular lab. So I recommend just kind of taking it, taking it week by week. Uh, again, uh, you'll have plenty of time. It's a, it's a what, a 16 week semester with fi the finals week being the last week, right? And also note that the, um, the final in this case closes on a, on a Friday night because that's the end of the semester and uh, the, the, the canvas closes that night. So you want to make sure you, you complete your, um, your final exam on that date. And note that the final is not comprehensive. It's, it's just the last few chapters uh, that we just, that we cover here, right? So, um, uh, so that's a little about the course. And then again, the best way to communicate with me 
would be through the Canvas mail or this inbox, inbox here, right? The Canvas inbox. And so here you can contact me, right? And I'm always on Canvas grading or doing um, editing the material for you. Uh, so anyways, that's the best way to contact me. So I look forward to seeing you all on Friday, August 26th, which is our, is our first meeting. Uh, but I'll probably send you another announcement uh, probably on Monday or Tuesday of next week when the class actually starts on the 22nd. All right. See you guys soon.